I'm videotaping myself, not you, just me. Okay. I can see myself, right? You, you'll be able to, to check this out later on the internet, okay? So you're going to want to do number three and number six, right, on the, on the drum set. So you just learned number six, so number three is going to be confusing, right? Even though you play basically the same amount of notes, the bass drum is in two different spots, okay? So number three, you play on one, three, and the and of three. One, and two, and three, and four, and right you got to wait till be three and then play okay number six it's right on the end of two one and two and three and four and all right it's gonna mess with your uh like your left hand usually that's the that's the one that gets messed up the first thing will probably happen when you try to play number three is you'll play the snare drum a half a beat early one and two and three and oh, sorry when you play um, when you practice number three, then go play number six again as you'll play the, ba the snare drum early, like this. One, and two, and three, and, yeah? That's quite common to happen. You just gotta keep track, count, and make sure you play the snare drum on two and four, right? The right hand does exactly the same thing both times, but it's only the bass drum that changes, right? And one tiny change, so you gotta use your ears and listen for it, all right? Number three, number six.